Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set a spatial wallpaper on your iPhone on iOS 26. So let's get started. First thing is, of course, in the settings in general, software update. You want to make sure your phone is up to date with iOS 26 in order to use this feature. Now, in order to use this feature, really a couple ways to do it, but starting from the settings here, you're going to go to wallpaper. And let's go ahead and add a new wallpaper. Now, when we go ahead and add a new wallpaper, we want a one that's compatible for spatial effect. So, not going to be a lot of wallpaper that are available here. So, you can look at some of the newer ones, maybe some of the ones that you have. But usually, uh, when it comes to spatial effect, the ones that work well are like landscape or photos that you have taken on your uh, phone itself. For example, I have taken. <laughs> Uh, this one is an example for that I have, right? Now, in order to set the spatial effect, you're going to see this icon right here next to these three dots. If you tap on that, it's going to generate spatial scenery. And I can go ahead and move it around a little, uh, adjust the clock. And as you can see here, when I move the screen, you may not be able to see it in this camera, it's going to have that spatial effect. So I'm going to click on Add, and then Set as Wallpaper. And then from there on, I'll go ahead and lock my phone just to give you the effect. So as you can see here, it basically gives that that effect when I move the clock around. So here in the camera, it's not capturing this movement, but if you have a good photo, especially good scenery uh, that you took, you can use this and it's going to look beautiful. So that's how you set it. Again, all I'm doing is whenever I set a photo, I can click on this icon. Now keep in mind, all photos that you set as wallpaper might not have this. In that case, you just have to use a different one uh, for it to work, but it should work for the most part. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.